Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place. Today we have got an explosive video about XDC and its connections. How institutional adoption of crypto has already been happening in the background. Why JP Morgan is ahead of the game. We now have Swift enabling real world asset transactions and we'll also cover how XDC is leading tokenization. So guys, I hope you will watch to the end because today's video is gonna be explosive. We have got a few clips to watch from JP Morgan like people, so pay attention. We shall continue right after this intro. Looking at coin market cap, currently the total market cap is once again 1.97 trillion. So kind of hanging about in one place, kind of ranging the whole market as you can see Bitcoin 57k, Ethereum 2.3k and the rest of the crypto space is doing exactly the same. And like I always say, utility will decouple from Bitcoin. We are going to have a bull run of our own. As you will see in today's video, we have got a lot of connections for XDC and regulations for crypto. Everything's happening, I think, this year for regulations. Next year is going to be explosive, especially for crypto. So pay attention to utility and buy your favorite cryptos right now for a discount. Looking at some explosive news from the UK. UK bill recognizes digital assets as personal property under new law. So this new law is now live in the UK. This is going to give legal protection to owners and companies against fraud and scams while helping judges deal with complex cases where digital holdings are disputed or form part of settlements. And this bill, no doubt at all, will ensure Britain maintains its pole position in the emerging global crypto race by being one of the first countries to recognize these assets in law so now guys the uk once again leading in crypto regulation i am not surprised guys right because xdc is already connected to the uk as you already know they were the first ones to adopt mletr now the rest of the world is following because they follow english law and i have zero doubts that with uk leading crypto regulation and the world following english law they are now gonna follow suit this is what it takes guys big economies to take control show that they are interested in something like crypto is here to stay they are embracing crypto they are putting out regulations now the rest of the world is gonna follow so all you gotta do is dca in to utility right keep your crypto safe and offline i'm gonna leave a decent wallet link right now at the top of the video guys Help yourself to the discount because the discount is not going to be here forever. And in regards to this, guys, this is good news for the crypto markets. I think overall, it's going to give us global adoption of crypto and global regulations. And just before we continue, I have a second channel called Crypto Utility. I only talk about utility on this channel, guys. The link is at the top of the video right now. Click the link and please subscribe so you don't miss out any utility talk. Looking at the XDC chart, currently XDC is at 2.6 cents. Once again, nothing interesting is happening here. We are ranging between 2 and 3 cents. But how long are we going to be ranging for between these numbers? I honestly believe that time is really close because XDC 2.0 has been timed perfectly, I believe, to coincide with the bull run. Because I do believe a bull run is going to happen this year. At least it's going to start. And this could be the year, guys, where utility takes off. We decouple from Bitcoin. XDC gets recognized even more across the world. We are finally listed on some of the biggest exchanges. That could happen very quickly, guys, because we are seeing XDC being listed on exchanges all over the globe. And it's only a matter of time when the bigger names like Binance and Coinbase start to pay attention. But that's when you're going to be kicking yourself because XDC will not remain at 2.6 cents. Looking at a tweet from Cyprus. And the growth of tokenized treasuries is only accelerating. Ondo plus securitized. Ondo is 60 cents and XDC is only 2 cents. So as we can see here, the top entities leading tokenized treasuries is Ondo and securitize we mention xdc at two cents because we are connected with securitize as you would already know by now 
Securitize is using XDC as that blockchain for treasuries, for value, for tokenization. And Securitize is then partnered with BlackRock to tokenize all the value in the damn world. And you already know that BlackRock is the biggest asset manager in the world, managing trillions upon trillions. So if you've got BlackRock on your side, there is nothing to fear because they will make you go to the top. XDC being connected to BlackRock is not a coincidence. XDC being connected to all these big names is not a coincidence. DDCC, who moves trillions of dollars every single day, is connected to XDC. R3, the big monster, SBI, all these names are connected to XDC because it needs to be, right? XDC solves a problem they have today. So just imagine when they are ready because they have been testing for many years now. As you will see later in this video, once we watch a few clips from some of the bigger names in the world, you will see how early we are and how institutions have already been adopting crypto, using them, testing them. So don't worry about anything for now, guys. XDC is in the right place at the right time. Everything's happening exactly as it needs to be. XDC will fly high when the time is right. Looking at a tweet from CoinSquare. Swift launches a new system to streamline tokenized asset transactions. The upgrade enables real-time transfers connecting blockchains, CBDCs, and fiat currencies for seamless global transactions. We can't wait to see these projects take off. And while they mention a number of different projects, I think XDC should be on this list. XDC deserves to be on this list. And I think a lot of people overlook XDC because they don't like XDC. They don't like that people know about XDC. So not everybody wants you to be holding XDC at two cents. Even now, it's a good buying opportunity because you probably are never going to get the chance again. Because as you see here, Swift is getting ready for RWA. Everybody's getting ready for RWA because they all want to be on that same page. That level playing field, guys, is really important for the big boys. XDC and XDC 2.0 is going to allow them to be on that level playing field, trading, transferring value seamlessly, instantly, and the most secure way. What more do they need? And Swift at the moment is one of the chosen systems right now with the traditional banks. But as you know, with Swift, it's a delayed process, right? Transactions take a number of days. It's kind of easier to fly money across borders right now using an airplane, which is ridiculous. In the 21st century, I don't think this should be the case. This is where all these utility cryptos like XDC who are ISO compliant projects are gonna come in and save the damn day. If Swift wants to remain relevant, it's gonna have to adopt blockchain technology. And this is what's happened over the years, guys. For hundreds and hundreds of years, institutions have never created anything of their own. They have always adopted public and private companies that have innovated in this area. And now we've got XDC innovating in blockchain. Blockchain is the damn future. So that's what I mean, guys. XDC is everywhere. XDC will be a household name, so don't be shocked when it happens. So we're now going to move on and watch a short clip from JP Morgan Tyrone. He knows what he's talking about. Just listen to this. We're talking about why tokenization is crypto's killer app. So listen to this, guys, and then we shall discuss it straight after. JP Morgan processes about $10 trillion of payments every day. That's 400 times the global stablecoin daily volume. Um, the global FX market is about $5 trillion. And so... When we think about utilizing blockchains as a settlement layer, uh, we need the infrastructure to actually support these volumes and we need them to support the, you know, the scale that the traditional financial services market is at. So right now, clearly, um, there are a number of reasons, both techn uh, technological-wise, but also regulatory-wise, as to why we have to use permissioned blockchains. However, you can think about these you know, globally ever-present, always up, highly redundant public blockchains as a really, really attractive settlement layer that can you know, s service this global market. However, until we actually solve some of the key challenges, specifically around privacy, um, specifically around things like AML, KYC, it does become difficult for us to fully step into that environment. So as you just heard there, JP Morgan is not a small player in the world of finance. Moving trillions of dollars per day is not a joke. 
But you might be asking, how is this all connected to XDC? We can't forget the fact that XDC network is built on Quorum, a permissioned blockchain initially developed by JP Morgan. So when they talk about permissioned blockchains, what comes to my mind is XDC, because XDC is highly connected to JP Morgan from the very beginning. So basically, XDC has them connections to lead in tokenization, right? Because JP Morgan is already connected to XDC. BlackRock is connected through Securitize and so many other big names that you've heard in this video today. So guys, it's only a matter of time. You've got this man telling you here right now that tokenization is going to happen. Institutions have been ready for a long time. They have been testing these things for a long time. They have been involved in the creation of many of these systems. XDC is definitely one of them that has been connected to some of the biggest names in the world. So all you got to do is diamond hands. Moving on to another clip about Web3. So we have got this gentleman, Tim from Deuce Capital, talking about how institutions are already ready and how the Internet of Value is going to change the world for the better. So have a quick listen and then we shall have a quick discussion at the end. If you take what I was saying before about the, the interesting part about this bear market being we've carried out a lot of really terrible companies out of on a stretcher, which you need, leaving generally more healthy companies. But you've also got this institutional thing. And that, that's the theme I'd like to end on. You, you know, everyone's talking about the ETF in the US. Why? It's not actually because ever, everybody thinks there's going to be like that huge element of like global capital in an ETF, in a Bitcoin ETF. No, but nobody's that crazy. What it, what it really is, is about it's, a, it's firing a gun on like, right, we're ready. The regulators are ready. It's time to go to the next level of institutional adoption. And the good news is, and this goes back to a bit what we were saying before, the institutional adoption cycle has been continuing underneath all of this. Uh, look at what, what you don't need to look far to see an announcement from a very big global company about their commitment to this space. It's been constant, slow but constant. And I think what happens in this, ref what's this reflexivity is not lost on the largest wealth managers in the world, by the way. They, their clients are saying to them, when this turns, can you bring us into this space? Which is why BlackRock wants to put an ETF out because they want to be the place where that goes. But this is where I'm, I'm interested in where it goes. The, the logical next step is we get to see structural products tokenized. We get to see all the tokenization. People have been banging on about tokenization. I've been banging on about tokenization for eight years and we still haven't tokenized shit. Like we really need to get to that next stage, but this is the moment where we start to see that happening. So as we just heard there, institutional adoption has always been on the go. They have never stopped and it's only a matter of an announcement. And what this means is that institutions who are investing with BlackRock and JP Morgan are now interested in crypto exposure. They want to be exposed to crypto. And when they talk about Bitcoin ETFs, as you heard there, it doesn't mean that they are going to be buying Bitcoin. They want to buy something with utility. They want to invest in things that are going to solve their problems. So guys, XDC, as we already know, is involved with some of the biggest problems in the world. XDC is solving them problems. And anything that solves a problem is going to have a big part to play in the future of finance. So don't worry about it, guys. XDC is up there with the big boys. Looking at tweet from Digital G. Gold on the rampage. The Fed is starting to let go of the narrative. We must be closer to resetting humanity's perception of money and the flipping of the switch to digital currencies. Before you know it, they will let loose XRP, XLM, MXDC. Yes, guys, I'm going to leave you here with this message. XDC, XRP, XLM, the triple X coins have too much utility to be ignored. The triple X coins, I believe, are going to be the future of digital gold, digital silver. They are going to lead the adoption of value movement. Moving trade across borders, that is just the beginning. The message today is very clear. Don't just invest in cryptos like the triple X coins, diversify into gold and silver as well. Because I honestly believe guys that gold and silver, the prices they are also at right now are ridiculously low. It's going to go much higher 
it's going to go past the average buying opportunity. And the final message here, guys, is that keep your crypto safe and offline. I'm going to put on a decent wallet ad in a second. Listen to the ad and understand why decent is the best wallet. All the links will be in the ad. The Decent Wallet has unmatched security. It's perfected with fingerprint technology. And the best thing is it supports 63 mainnets and 3,600 plus cryptocurrencies. The reviews for the Decent Wallet have been amazing, all five stars. And talking about how durable the Decent Wallet is, we have an example from a customer here. As you see here, a rat attacked their decent wallet box and the decent hardware wallet itself and as you can see it was in quite a bad state but even then it is so durable that it was still working as it needed to be and just before we talk about how you can get your hands on a discount for a decent wallet they now have a decent blog where you can learn about blockchain smart contracts every single thing you can imagine about blockchain and cryptos on their blog so check it out i'm going to leave a link in the description so how can you get your hands on this amazing wallet to secure your crypto today click on the link in the description or at the top of the video right now buy one decent wallet and get 50 dollars off and if you want to buy a two-pack decent wallet you can then get a bigger discount of 129 dollars off so help yourself to the links guys and buy the decent wallet at a discount and secure your generational wealth today